Let's continue playing Open XCOM Final Mod Pack. We're seeing what's turned up at the farm. And what has turned up at the farm so far is a UFO. What a surprise. Also, the door is there, which is an unusual one, but it does mean that we can have Viren just go and look at it here and be reasonably safe in that location. Venkos. Have a look. Does not see anything. Gonna have you ducked and ready there for reaction fire, and I think we're gonna play this one a little cautiously. Force tank moves up. These have 60 ammo, by the way. That was one thing I was wondering. I built about 90. We need a bit more than that based on the fact they're 60 each. Just because unless they have the 60, they can't be deployed, and we may have need to deploy multiple gauze tanks at some point in the future. So our rookies, who will be probably trying to breach this UFO at some stage, will advance. They can advance out the front and we'll have the experienced people cover. I mean, this actually kind of runs counterintuitive to how this should work because this is obviously closest to the attack and we're moving our experienced people over. But, you know, sometimes sometimes that'll happen. Chris not dead. He's right there. Okay, nothing seen. Nothing seen. Right, the tank can make it over there, so the tank is going to go that way. Still nothing seen. Okay, and we'll move you up as well. Couple of zom a mutant and a mutant zombie. A zombie and a zombie mutant, anyway. And main job reborn, just in case we need that lasers. Actually, with that only firing 20, I probably did need the um Reserve clips for that, but we'll worry about that another time. Alright, Venkos not found anything, and this is not the best of positions for him, in fairness, but... Let's well, position there, and duck and ready. Okay, I'm not seeing any random doors that have been opened. Yet, although that can easily be a killing field where we're about to go with the tank. You know, at least if we were bringing soldiers. Bringing the tank, we're probably okay, but... Alright, fire storm up to there. Let's move... Angel up to there. Not as the be Does not have the best of accuracy, really. Oh, and we have spotted one. We are up against these things. Okay. So these things were kind of immune to armor piercing. And also to plasma. Okay. I'm kind of concerned, but we'll see what happens. Plus point with Anima Trickster and the heavy gorse cat we do have, though, is that these things will probably bypass to a certain extent. It didn't. Although if it did, it wasn't noticeable. So we're up against a lot of armor, is what that's basically warned me there. A lot of armor. Does mean our tank is reasonably effective against them, though. Except that, actually, no, it isn't, because it's using gauze. This is the gauze tank, not the laser tank. Okay, I want to keep facing forward, because that provides the most cover. So the game knows we got gauze now, and it's thrown at enemies that are kind of immune to gauze. Say kind of, of course, we can definitely tax that, but. Two enemies discovered. Alright. Uh, Anna. And that's it. That's the one we've most likely hit, so. Come on, back we go. Is 
Okay, how confident are we feeling here? Let's go with an auto fire from Griff. Gotta hit. I'm not confident that weapon's got enough damage. Angel, on the other hand, has a half chance to hit here. That was probably our best weapon. Alright, snapshot. Nope, snapshot then. No tiny units. Alright. Gonna go snapshot then at this guy. Nope. Missed. Viren. Wanna be medic. Wanna be a hero. This is going to be tricky. I think our tank has survived, but... Actually, our tank hasn't taken any damage. That's actually been really helpful for us. Yeah, well, it's okay. So we can overtax it, definitely. Problem we got is, of course, that... Um, we know there's another one up here somewhere. And now we can see... No, actually, I don't think he was the one we saw earlier. Let's have a go at his sh shot anyway. No line of fire. Of course. But knowing he's there changes what we do a little bit. Got to be aware of that door at all times as well. Alright. So... Move up Venkos, and that's purely just so I can know where they are. No line of fire, no line of fire. Okay, that's fine. We have vision, and ultimately that's going to be important. Animatrix the duck, and... Can we do... Alright, let's go aimed. Okay, that was worthless. Griff's not dead. Right, let's have a go anyway. I'm not convinced of this weapon's ability to harm these things, but might as well give it a go. At least gets rid of random bits of cover that are everywhere. Alright. Viren, wanna be medic. Nope. Nope. XCOM, destroyer of fences. Alright. Aim shot, 47% chance. Let's take it. Okay, so lasers work. He's unconscious. Probably going to die before we get a chance to use any use him for anything, but not a bad shot. Okay, couple of good hits. Hopefully he's wounded. Gonna end the there. And Retrix is in a dodgy position there. And there's actually more of them up here by the look of this than I was concerned with. Alright, Venkos. Um, move up. Okay, we can see. No line of fire, he says. Alright, we know Anna Trickster is the most powerful weapon, so... And we know that Angel has the weapon that can actually harm, harm these things. So let's go with this. Good going. Good going. Alright. Uh, one shot. Duck and cover. And then I think we're relying on other things. So let's go with aim shot here. Let's try and... I was going to say, try and hit it and just confirm my fury that we can't harm her with that. My fairly certain weapon types is... God darn it, we are so good at destroying fences and so rubbish at destroying anything else. <laughs> Alright, Venkos is going to move. Can't do much with you. Viren's made shots, you've made shots. Line of fire, and I kind of want to. Uh, if something comes out of there, we're in a lot of trouble. 
honest opinion on it. Alright. Well, let's see what happens with this. Not much. Nope, don't want to leave that. Alright, Venkos can finally have a shot. After all that, he misses. <laughs> Okay, nothing for you. And it retracts an aim shot. Alright, one down. Yeah, so the heavy gauze is definitely our weapon of choice here. That is one destroyed ship. But it's good to know, because that means there's less likely things are going to come out of it. spotted. We have already shot it, so let's go... <clears throat> Alright. That was probably worth a try. And I'd love to save for a snapshot, but I think having the cover position there is probably better. <clears throat> Alright, we can have one more shot with the tank, actually, and then try to dodge. Nice. I'm fairly sure there's one more though. I don't. Th I think there was another shot from somewhere around there. Okay, so we kind of confirmed that. We just need to be aware of things. Griff moves up to there. Get shot from Vador. Nope. <laughs> okay, we're okay then. So now it's a case of careful advance and just being aware of. You know, things like our remaining time units. We lost a wannabe medic, and we lost the tank. That was a rather cruel turn. That door is probably keeping things from being... I bet he's there. I bet you any money he's there. Yep. Got rid of a door. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do much else to that. Um, okay. We are going to walk in. Yeah, I'm reasonably confident there's nothing in the ship. I'm also reasonably confident we're about to lose another person. Oh, okay. We're not quite done. That was a good aim shot as well. Darn. Okay. Uh, Venkos. Where's Venkos? Good effort, but we lost Venkos. And we lost Mutant Zombie Talon. And we lost Anima Trickster. That was a terrible turn. Yeah, we need to do this. You're the only one with an actual weapon that can actually harm this thing with any degree of reliability. Okay, heavy weapon's good. Heavy weapon's good. We've unfortunately lost so much down this side of the board that, um... Alright. Reserve a snap, but I have an odd feeling it's going to be bad. Uh, Firestorm has panics and unfortunately blocked the door for Angel, who's going to have to come around the outside. So we know these things are not immune to lasers. So know that that is probably not going to work for you in the long run. Alright, Firestorm. Oh. 
There are two left. Maybe more. Pick up that heavy gorse. Because now you need it. Alright, good effort. Good. I'm actually amazed that we got two hits from that. Now, though, got to worry about wherever that other shot came from. From up there. I don't think waiting for snapshot is the answer here. So we can see him. We now know he's there. But yeah, that is not the answer. All right, we'll move fast on. Last one's going to have problems from next turn, of course, because he doesn't have the actual time units, but... I think what this means is that when we get our um, when we get our actual equipment, um, okay, Griff needs to move into a position of relative safety. I was gonna say once we get the cult up and running, we kind of need to pair people off, don't we? We need to try and have both lasers and um, gauze weapons set up. All right, we're gonna go laser and dodge. You know this weapon can actually do stuff. Also, I'm a big fan of the um, of the laser tanks anyway, in general. No line of fire from there, apparently. So we're going to duck and move. And Griff's going to get shot at, unfortunately. Not much I can do about that. Last time we move up to there, I think what we want to do is want to drop some things if we can. But we might do that next turn. See if we need to. You know how annoyed I am at this? You know how annoyed I am at you? For some reason, I have an alarm going off. Give me two moments. Okay, we resume. So, we cleared this ship out. We ran the way through it. But apparently, we managed to massively miss one of them. He's dead now. <laughs> okay. Angel in. Snapshot. Snapshot. Missed, missed. And we're going to have to duck and run. The problem is, I think he's going to come and get us now. Same thing. Two snaps and then duck and run. Okay, he's unconscious. We might actually get away with this and get a live one again. Okay, that was perfect. Absolutely perfect. We lost the tank, two of our best soldiers. <laughs> um, completely destroyed by our upgraded weapons, not doing a lot to them. So clearly, we need lasers. Griff's not dead, gained 10 bravery. I'm not surprised overall. Not surprised in the least. Overall, yeah, that was okay. That was an okay mission. Zom mute zombie can say Samuel hero of our complex previously yes things Legion of Valor for Griff's not dead hold on let's uh let's soldiers here uh, Griff's not dead who is an example of bravery I think that's just his stats, actually. If Bravery's up to 40. I mean, he's gained a lot of it, but I don't know what triggered that. Well. Turbo Turtle remains the senior member of that, then. Three of our rookies survived. I mean, it wasn't what we intended for the mission, but it's what happened. So, let's upgrade that to 150 to start with. Let's then manufacture some laser rifles. Um, I'm going to manufacture six. And then some laser rifle clips. And I'm going to say 40 to be on the safe side. And we'll get that work done on that later. Here as well, we are going to need them, so let's go for 
laser rifle. Actually, you can't even say that. That was zero for space for it. All right, a very small UFO there. Area unknown, take it out. Also, area unknown can build another defense here. Uh, laser defenses. So that's a defensive strength of 1,000. I need to... What I should probably do is I should go and look up what the actual base defense, the numbers are usually. I don't know if this is overland or not. Also, apologies, I have a bit of a cold, which apparently has been developing as I've been recording these episodes. Destroyed anyway. I mean, that was over water, but... Okay, Iron Fist is now done. 30 and... 45. Oh, 12. Okay, fine. Exactly the right numbers. Exactly the right numbers. I guess what this does mean is we're now we're investing much more heavily in the laser weapons side of things. And of course we need some ammo. So gore shells, we're going to produce about 150 I think as well. Just so we definitely got cover. Oop, that's far too many. I was distracted by something in my phone. Okay, there we go. Thunderstorm Interceptor. Okay. One weapon. Okay, so this is just a high speed one then, I guess. Let's put everything into this. <coughs> <coughs> Cough up a storm and move on. Sentinel Interceptor. Heavy combat aircraft. Twin scramjets, Valyrian powered engines, and the latest in avionic armor technology. Trade off is a higher level of fuel consumption and a low acceleration time. Okay, so we've got the high speed, or we've got the standard there. Okay, so we have talked to navigators and things in the past. I'm going to talk to the state man leader now. We have a floater leader if we need a backup, but um, I feel that the time has come. So, Eskom Topper, it's not a priority for right now, but I feel we are going to. We're going to manufacture one Sentinel. No free hangers. Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't re equipped the craft. Yeah, Sky Marshal. Let's take all the equipment and then watch him complain that we don't have enough storage space for it. I actually don't know if selling this off or just immediately put it back into storage, but I prefer not to take the risk. Crew, you're being sold off with a Sky Marshal. Enjoy. <laughs> um, okay, sell off. Sky Marshal. There you go. Sky Marshal 2. Sell that off. Okay, next, let's manufacture that Sentinel. I think it's the one we want to go for here. Obviously, we're focusing on other things, but immediately that'll get done, so there we go. And as mentioned, immediately that'll get done. 20. I suppose I could have them build their own one here, in all fairness. The problem I've got with the other one is it's only got one weapon facility here. Okay, another one-man task. Build the Sentinel by yourself. Okay, so we don't want to use everybody here, but we do want to get a good number on this, I suppose. So 55, and then we're going to go for... Personal armor repair. Produce another four of these. And get them repaired. Don't mind the patches, they're just as good. Antimatter containment. Okay. 
Advanced laser weapons, railguns, the Martian solution. Okay, let's look at advanced laser weapons, because clearly we need better laser weapons. So I'm going to put 50 on this, and I'm going to put 50 on the task of railguns. Okay, advanced laser weapons. Do not require energy replenishment on the battlefield. Nuclear. Okay, we're going for nuclear heavy weapons now. And of course, we're going to go for the scatter laser because clearly, if we've learned anything, heavy weapons is the only way to go. Railguns, ultimate version of Gore's technology. So we've now potentially got upgraded Gore's weapons up as well now? Not that anything appeared from that, so we need something else. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So the Manufactorium now needs to basically upgrade everything. Also, I have an odd feeling we need another... Another facility. Just a feeling. So, um, we S Steve needs an upgrade. We're gonna build two of these. HWP railgun ammo is the next step, but clearly we need two railgun Steves. Uh, let's send out you. Whoops. I completely lost track of that. Alright, fine. Send you out as well. You're closest. What is this thing? Hover over disengage button. I think that is solar powered. Because that did nothing to us there. Okay. So well done. You have built the pinnacle of Stevehood. Build another one. No, nope, can't do that. Then I guess what we need to do is, once again, go for a bit of an upgrade. So let's start with rail rifles. Going to build eight of the things, and we're going to put... 11 engineers on this. Then we're going to go for rail rifles, clips, and we need about 40 of these. I've just built all the gore stuff and now we're spending all of our money on this. It's clearly terrible. Also, I really need to build that sentinel rather than that, but hey. But hey. Um... All right, fine. As much as I really do need these, I don't think I need them quite that urgently, so... I'll be able to add more engineers in a little bit anyway, so it'd be fine. In fact, I should probably purchase some extra ones just because I know I'm going to need them. The Nuclear Heavy Laser. Laser Beam 85. Well... Let's get the nuclear laser rifles done. We can now manufacture nuclear heavy lasers. And these don't seem to require ammo from what it was saying. So yes, we absolutely want one of these. Two of these. As many of these as you want to give us. I completely lost track of the things. Nuclear heavy laser. Which is free of the things and lament the fact that we have no engineering space left. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, small, very high. Let's send out another Raven to deal with this. I keep sending the wrong one. <laughs> Alright, fine. You deal with this. You're actually the closest. It's actually our one with the gorse cannons. Thankfully, when we replace with rail guns, hopefully we'll be slightly further away, but slightly further away in terms of range. But hey. Alright, we have a mission. Next time, we will go and do that mission. So until then.